This is Lockheed Martin's new sniper networked targeting pod, and it may be quietly one of the most important upgrades to fourth generation fighters since the introduction of precision guided weapons. In an era where future wars will be won not just by who fires first, but who shares data fastest, this pod turns legacy jets into digital predators. And the truly wild part? It does it without tearing apart the aircraft, changing the airframe, or compromising stealth. Let's break down why this matters. Because what Lockheed just revealed isn't just a pod. It's a brain, a node, a battlefield router with teeth. Lockheed Martin has now officially unveiled the Sniper Networked Targeting Pod, Sniper NTP, the newest evolution of its proven Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod line. We first heard about its development last year, but today we finally get the details. And this thing fundamentally changes what a targeting pod can be. Traditionally, targeting pods have been eyes, sensors that detect, track, and designate targets. Sniper NTP is still that, but now it's also the mouth, the ears, and the neural link between aircraft, missiles, satellites, and even artillery batteries. At the core of the Sniper NTP is Lockheed's new multi-data link, multi-processor hybrid base station, or HBS. This is where things get interesting. Instead of just being another bolt-on targeting upgrade, the HBS transforms the existing Sniper ATP into a flying communications and edge computing node. In other words, this pod doesn't just see targets, it thinks about them, shares them, and coordinates attacks across multiple platforms in real time. Externally, the pod looks almost identical to the legacy Sniper lineup. The silhouette is preserved, same sleek aerodynamic body mounted beneath the fuselage but there's a new conformal section attached below the mid-body of the pod. It's subtle, but intentional. And that's where the data link magic lives. Those are likely the antenna arrays, enabling this pod to connect to fighters, drones, ground stations, command hubs, and even naval assets. Now here's where the pod shifts from interesting to game-changing. Interoperability with the F-35 Lightning Second. The F-35 is the floating gold mine of battlefield data, radar tracks, SIGINT, targeting coordinates, electronic signatures, the works. But historically, sharing that information across platforms, especially with non-stealth aircraft, has been difficult because of the Multifunction Advanced Data Link, or MATL, a low probability of intercept encrypted pipeline built exclusively for fifth-gen assets. Sniper NTP cracks that door open. Lockheed says the pod's hybrid base station uses a flexible architecture that supports multiple radios and data links, including MATL for F-35 interoperability and MANAT or mobile ad hoc networking for resilient mesh communication. That means an F-35 can silently find targets without exposing itself, then pass that data through the sniper NTP to something like an F-16. The F-16, which carries long-range weapons but lacks the stealth and sentry fusion of a fifth-gen platform, suddenly becomes a long-range sniper rifle, fed by a stealth scout. Lockheed puts it bluntly. Without compromising stealth, an F-35 can identify targets and pass precise coordinates through sniper NTP to an F-16, which can then engage the target using long-range weapons. That sentence right there that's the future of combat. Not one super jet doing everything, but every jet contributing something. Stealth, firepower, speed, sensors, all fused into a kill web operating at 5G plus data rates. The pod becomes a nerve ending in a military nervous system that spans fighters, ships, satellites, drones, and even HIMARS rocket batteries on the ground. Lockheed isn't stopping with simple targeting data either. The company says future demonstrations will showcase multi-aircraft coordination, secure video sharing, and dynamic targeting handoffs. They've even teased a scenario where an F-35 passes a threat location via metal to two sniper NTP-equipped F-16s 
which then use Manet to relay that location to a ground command center, initiating a HIMARS strike. That's not an airstrike. That's a synchronized joint domain kill chain built around a pod. The real advantage is all plug and play. Nations don't have to rip open jet wiring harnesses, redo avionics, or install new mission computers. No aircraft modification, no downtime, no astronomical cost curves. Lockheed Martin says Allied Air Forces, many of which fly aging but heavily upgraded 4th Gen fighters, have been asking exactly this. With F-16 Block 7072 and modernized F-16Vs flying alongside F-35s well into the 2040s, Sniper NTP ensures those Falcons aren't becoming obsolete. They're becoming networked predators. To appreciate how big this leap is, you have to understand where the sniper pod comes from. The current AN-AAQ-33 Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod is already one of the most successful EOIR targeting systems on the planet. Over 1,650 units delivered, more than 5 million operational hours. This thing has seen everything from Afghanistan night strikes to maritime intercepts in the Pacific. Sniper ATP provides long-range target detection, precision identification, and laser designation. It blends a high-definition mid-wave IR sensor with a stabilized TV camera and dual-mode laser. Air crews can spot and track targets at standoff distances, generate GPS and laser quality coordinates, and designate for strike munitions without closing into enemy air defenses. It reduces pilot load with automated target tracking. It records and downlinks full motion video to ground forces. In fact, it's not even just a strike tool anymore. It's become a non-traditional ISR platform. Quick reaction alert aircraft have used Sniper to visually identify unknown aircraft, like when Taiwanese F-16Vs used the pod to capture infrared footage of PLA Navy J-15s. And now, take that system, already trusted, battle-proven, and give it the ability to network, fuse data, share target coordinates, and integrate with the F-35. That isn't an upgrade. That's a capability pivot. Here's what this means on the battlefield. Fourth-gen fighters don't fade into irrelevance. They evolve. They connect. They become extensions of stealth aircraft, not relics behind them. If wars of the past were about platforms, wars of the future are about nodes. And Lockheed Martin just turned a targeting pod into one. So when we talk about the Sniper Networked Targeting Pod, we're not talking about optics. We're talking about architecture, influence, a quiet revolution that lets legacy aircraft fight and win in a digital battlesphere dominated by data. The Sniper Pod used to find targets. Now it finds targets, shares them, and orchestrates strikes. That's not a pod. That's a force multiplier strapped beneath a wing. And in the next decade, that might be the difference between surviving and dominating the first day of a high-end war.